Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to withdraw money from World Coin App. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. Now, in this case, you might be wondering how do you actually withdraw money from the World Coin app? Well, in this case, currently the World Coin app itself does not support cashing out. But the great thing about the World Coin app is you could actually um, transfer from to a different uh application or different uh, network or different platform for you to access the withdrawal functionalities on that platform. Now in this case, what we need to do first is we need to transfer our WorldCoin into our Binance account because Binance actually supports uh, cashing out via their platform. In this case, at the top right of your screen, go ahead and click on Deposit on Binance. And from here, what you need to do is choose the Deposit Crypto. Now from here, we need to search for a coin. Let's go and choose WLD, which is World Coin, and choose this one. And we now need to select our network. Now it is recommended that you use Optimism here because a World Coin actually uses Optimism's network. Now also make sure that you choose the correct network here because not choosing the correct network will uh, result in you losing your crypto. In this case, you should now be able to see your current address and the QR code for your account. In this case, go ahead and copy that and we now we are we are now ready to proceed on making a transfer on the WorldCoin app. Now in this case, all we need to do next is we need now to open up the WorldCoin app and go to your wallet and choose WorldCoin. Now from then on, you should be able to see WorldCoin here. Go ahead and click on the send button that you see on your screen. And from here, we need to enter or basically paste the address that we copied from our uh, Binance account. Now in this case, once you've done that, it's now going to say confirm you're using Optimism. Again, it's using the Optimism network, so confirm that you are using Optimism network. Go ahead and click on confirm. And from here, we now need to choose WorldCoin. Now once you've chosen that, we now need to enter the amount that we want to send. So for example, let's go ahead and enter $5. And from here on the next page, what we need to do is we just need to confirm that we want to send. So in this case, just click on the option that says hold to send. And once you've done that, it should now say is order successful. Now from then on, you just need to wait for a few seconds or a few minutes for your coin to actually arrive. Now once your coin or cryptocurrency actually arrives, what we need to do is we now need to trade that to an actual uh, actual amount that we can trade. In this case, go to your Binance account, go to trade here, and what we need to do is we need to choose the option that says pot. Now from here, we need to change this to world coin and USDT. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to go to search at the top right here. Just type in WLD. And from here, you choose the WLD USDT here. And from here, we need to change this. So in this case, since we want to actually sell our crypto, so make sure that's WLD slash USDT here. So since we want to actually sell this one, so what we need to do is we want to indicate how much we want to sell. So for example, maybe I want to sell around, if you just send like five WLD, you need to indicate that here. And from here, that would actually automatically adjust that and USDT here. Now once you've done that, just click on sell WLD here and it's going to place an order on your account. So you just need to wait for the order to complete. And once the order is complete, we're now ready to start selling our crypto uh, currency. Now, since we just uh, actually converted our WLD into USDT, we now need to actually uh, sell this one into P2P since we want to make a transfer to our account. In this case, all we need to do is we need to uh, change a few things first. So in this case, uh, go to your spot wallet at the top right of the main menu here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to make a transfer. So in the spot wallet here, go ahead and click on transfer. And from here, we want to uh, change this from fiat and spot. So make sure it's uh, fiat and spot in the from section. And the two should be in the funding section. Now from here, we need to choose our coin. So let's just choose USDT here. So once you've chosen USDT, you should be able to uh, change this. Now, in this case, just hit on the confirm button once you've chosen USDT here. Now, you will only be able to see USDT here if you have enough funds on your account. But as you can see, uh, my USDT is set to zero. I won't be able to see it. But again, if you do, if you have USDT, you should be able to see it in here and just basically click on confirm. Now, once you make the transfer from your spot wallet into your uh, funding wallet, we are now ready to uh, basically sell this in P2P. 
Now in this case, let's go to trade here, choose P2P. And from here, what we need to do is we now need to choose sell. Now from here, we need to choose our payment here. So in this case, let's go choose this one. Instead of choosing the ND here, we want to choose the our appropriate currency. So let's just say USD here, let's go and choose that one. But again, choose your correct, uh, correct currency here. And from here, you could choose all payments that you have. So there's going to be a lot of payments that is available here. We have Zelle, Banco, Pinti, Cha, Zinli, Bank Transfer, and a lot more. Now, the uh, following options that we need to do here now is we now need to choose a vendor. Now, there are going to be some limits on some vendors. Like, for example, uh, this vendor actually requires you to uh, make a transfer around $400 to $150,000. You know, some vendors actually just require $200. So in this case, just choose the appropriate one here. So this one actually has like $50 to $63 to make transfer and they support people pay. Now, if you want to uh, basically sell uh, to this uh, specific vendor, just click on sell USDT here. And from here, you just need to indicate uh, how much uh, you want to uh, sell. So in this case, the amount you want to sell in USDT here and uh, the amount you'll be receiving on your account should appear in here. Now you should be able to choose uh, your uh, account here, or what payment method you want to choose. So in this case, you can go choose people pay here since that's only the available one here. Just enter your email address here. Now once you fulfill uh, all the information here, you just need to click on sell USDT and that will redirect you to another page where in this case, you just need to complete the whole process with the vendor. So you just need to interact with them like what information do they need. But in this case, the only thing that you do not need to provide here is the password for your account. But if they do ask for your bank account number, do provide that because they will be that that's where they'll be able to transfer your uh, funds that you'll be selling to them. But yeah, so that's about it. So, so making a transfer from uh, or withdrawing money on WorldCoin is kind of complicated. So you need to use a different platform to, in order for you to do this. But in this case, yeah, so that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.